If you would like to win one of these Tapu Lele shown here, all I gotta get you to do guys is click like, subscribe if you already have it, and comment below Lele giveaway. We'll also be giving away this Lycan Rock Rainbow Ray. So yeah, uh, comment, like, sub to get into the giveaway. Well, what is up guys, Sleepy Ostring here, and today we are playing something a little different on the channel. Uh, we are playing an old school classic, which is Doom. Made back in 1993, I'll actually let the music happen while this uh, this plays out because this soundtrack is fucking lit. I know that sounds really cringy, but uh, no, this soundtrack is fucking awesome. Uh, come, on. right? This game was like the grandfather for first-person shooters. You didn't have no Call of Duty back then, 1993. None of that. You had this and Wolfenstein. Now Wolfenstein was built from this, uh, but looked like 10 times worse. Uh, but this game, like, revolutionized gaming. This is, like, this thing, like, blew people away back in 1993. They were like, this is, like, the realest thing ever. And today's standards, it still holds up quite well. Uh, but besides all the controversy, obviously. Um, you know, Columbine High School shooting was based off it. Like, they, they found that the... What's that? Devon Clay Kevold, and all of that uh, sort of built maps about their high school in Doom, because Doom was really like you could just do whatever you want. I think I've missed the shotgun as well. I think I might have forgotten to pick it up. Uh, I'll go have a look around. I, I haven't played this game for like years. I've been wanting to um, been wanting to play it for you know a while on this on the on the. Uh, the channel, sorry. I'm try trying to think where I'm also trying to figure out where this shotgun is. I'm pretty sure it's in the next level. But uh, this game, when it came out back in 1993, it, it fucking blew people away. I used to play it on the Super Nintendo as a kid, and I sort of grew up with the Super Nintendo version. It's not the best version of it. I'd say that the, the DOS version is the superior one. But uh, yeah, so they made a movie about this game as well, like back in back in the day. Oh, it was 2005 they made it. It wasn't very good. I had Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and he popped out his Dwayne The Cock Rock Cock, Cock Johnson. His Big Johnson. <laughs> I actually think I've missed the shotgun. I'm pretty sure I have. I, I think it's in the first level, so... And the shotgun is like the, like the, the thing that makes Doom Doom. Uh, like, everyone knows the Doom shotgun. Because it's like, it's just a classic weapon. You know, it's it's a boomstick. Boomstick and doom. But, um, yeah. Oh, there it is. There, there we are. That's the fucking shotgun. Yeah, this thing is legit, like, fucking awesome. Uh, I think we've gone with, yeah, we went that way before. So we gotta go find the red keycard door. So back then, uh, back in the day, back when your, your parents probably pay, played this. I get, I have some younger viewers. Your parents probably played this, uh, and they probably went, "Oh my god, we can, we can fucking do anything now." And this was mock 3D at the time. It's a, uh, it's called 2.5D um, graphics, which means that uh, it is uh, falsely trying to. I think it's like it's, it's trying to pretend to be 3D, but at the time they had no 3D games apart from like one, but it was like pretty primitive. But uh, essentially everything is 2D, but it's designed to look like it's 3D. So if you look at this barrel here, see how the barrel rotates around as I do? That's it's it's, it's a flat mesh. But um, yeah, so back like in the day, this this would have been fucking awesome. I know it looks pretty cheesy today, like it it basically built the first person shooter, you know, Half-Life, fucking Call of Duty, all of those, probably would have been a lot worse if this game hadn't come out, and I mean, Call of Duty has gotten pretty bad over time, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, this, this game is still a lot of fun to play, and it's free, it was free from the start, back in the, the 1983, uh, like, 1993, and, uh, they released it as shareware, which means that you could share it along with your friends, you had to pay for it if you wanted the full game, so it was like it was like the premium stuff. But uh, it, you essentially, I think we'll just be playing through um, knee deep in pits of hell. I think the name of this uh, story is called, which is like the first uh, level pack that they released along with it. And then after that, you had to buy the rest of the game 
but it was free, so yeah. There's not really uh, an excuse not to buy it, but this game you can find really cheap on uh, Steam. It's like, I, I think always like $5. You can get all three of the Doom games, plus I'm pretty sure the new Doom is quite cheap too. Like they made a lot of money off it, so I think they just discounted it a bit. Uh, but no, the, the the new Doom game, which came out in 2016, is really good too. Um, I didn't like the soundtrack as much as this soundtrack, because the soundtrack in this is very... I mean, look, let's go back to E1M1, which was the first level, uh, and that soundtrack is fucking... Oh, it's so good. Um, but uh, yeah, so basically, there is no story to this besides you were like uh, a a dude in a Mars complex, like you're on Mars, and what happened is a bunch of miners uh, were like doing shit, and then they accidentally opened a portal, and then all these like people got turned into zombies, and there was like fucking thousands of demons that poured out of it. So you like your name is John Space Marine. That's not his name, but. He has no name, he's just Doom Guy. But uh, people call him John Space Marine for, someone, for some reason. But uh, because, he, again, he's got no name, so. Uh, but yeah, this game built stuff like Half-Life 1, which essentially just put this out of the, you know, the... I pre yeah, you take this key and every all the lights turn off. It's fun. Like, this game, it's just still really good. And, like, the lighting effects, like, look at this. Like, look at the broken lighting, it looks so cool. Uh, I think if you go down here, you can get the... There's a rocket launcher around here. I think it's up there. I remember that a little bit. But, uh, yeah, there's like acid pits and stuff. Um, the secret... I think one of the secret walls is along here. There's like secret walls and you can get like extra guns and... All that good jazz that you expect to see these days. This game basically built all of the... Well, it didn't build the whole secret thing, but... Secret walls and all of that were perfected and like done better, I guess. I mean, Zelda obviously started with all the. Oh, I don't, again, I don't know if it was Zelda, but when I when I think secrets and Easter eggs and all that, I think of Zelda and adventure from the Atari. But uh, yeah, no, this game is fucking awesome, and yeah, it still holds up really well today. There are so many like there's a huge mod fan base for this. They turn this game into some crazy stuff, like, uh, there's one where it turns it into a space survival horror game, like you'd expect to see in some, like, you know, like, uh, indie game, but essentially this is what this was, like, they, they had, like, a small team of people, and, you know, they perfected what they did, and it fucking kicks ass. Yeah, there's a fair bit of controversy behind it. It's sort of the reason why your new games these days say like MA15 plus or like, oh, I don't know what the American rating system is, but in Australia, we've got a rating system like that. Uh, I know the Yanks, you Yanks. Sorry, when I say Yanks, I mean Americans. That's what uh, us Aussies call you. Um, yeah, I don't know what your rating system's like, but this game basically, oh, it's the ESRB. You guys have got the ESRB. Um, you guys, uh, looked at this in Mortal Kombat after some shit happened, you know, Mortal Kombat 1, I think it was. So then the port of Mortal Kombat 2 for the Super Nintendo didn't have any blood, and it actually meant that the Super Nintendo version, uh, out oh, Jesus Christ, I accidentally killed myself. <laughs> Oops. Okay, uh, I need to watch out for those explosions. <laughs> um, no, the, the Super Nintendo version of that game, um outsold was sorry was outsold by the Sega Mega Drive one because the Sega Mega Drive was like oh yeah we're gonna uh you know add the the gore and the, the blood and all that after mums complained that it you know it was ruining their kids and all that and the same thing happens these days because recently we just had an interview where a mum said that her son spends too much time playing Fortnite now this is in Australia so obviously it's Australia I mean you guys are literally shooting yourselves up over there and our mums and shit are getting worried about kids watching cartoon violence it's uh, very different here but essentially they want uh, some mum wants to get Fortnite banned because she thinks it's like a new age of violence because it looks cartoony and it hides itself and it gets into our kids heads I'm like what the fuck I look I've played Fortnite I don't think it's very good mainly because I'm not very good at it I'm not good at online games like that 
Uh, I don't have the patience for them, so I don't really play them. So when I say it's not good, it just means it's not good for me to play because I'm not just going to sink time and, you know, time out of my day to sit around in a little hut for 20 minutes before someone snipes me from across the map. But uh, you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, now this, this game was fucking awesome. Uh, I'd hope to, I'd like to finish the whole game on the channel, but uh, yeah, I need to pick up some health. We're uh, slowly running out here. Uh, Alright, so we've got a health pack, and yeah, uh, we're almost out of the chain gun as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this, yeah, there we go. So if you hit that button out there, it turns the, like, the bridge on. And there we go, we finished that level. These levels are very small too, like, they're big, but they can be done very quickly. Um, oh, I'll grab those shotgun shells, there we are. No, but uh, this game is, it's not extremely long, uh, because there's four episodes of stuff in there, but we'll probably only ever do the first one, just because I don't know how this will be received on the channel, like, I don't know if you guys are even going to watch this. Um, like, the Emerald Nuzlocke doesn't see a lot of interest, so it's, yeah, I just play these because I want to, it's not really because, uh, I'm trying to boost views or anything. I'm just trying to have some fun, I guess. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't played this for years. I think I last time I did this was a, a game design course I did a few years back. It was I got my Cert 4 because of it, um, which is a certificate for in Australia, um, which means that I can legally, you know, go get it like easily, not legally, go get a job in the game industry. But I probably won't because, to be honest, I don't think it's really for me. Now it looks like there's a secret over here. Yeah, there is. We got the rocket launcher, guys. Yeah, they, they always have little secrets like this in the game. And they are a little fun. You see, you wouldn't have thought to open up that wall unless you already knew. But that wall... See, oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking rocket launcher. All right. Um, I haven't been using the pistol a lot because I don't really like it. I, li I like the shotgun, though. Everyone likes a shotgun. But, um, some people have preferences of over what weapons they prefer in this game. There isn't a huge amount. In Doom 2, they add the chainsaw and the, the stupid shotgun, which is like a double barrel shotgun, which is fucking incredible. It's like the one that everyone remembers in this game, is the super shotgun. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's more guys. Uh, and these guys, some guys are hit scan as well, so they're not DPS. Oh, sorry, yeah, they are DPS, but they, um, uh, some of them are projectiles, so you'll see that also, oh, Jesus, okay, a lot of them just killed themselves. Well, some of the enemies have infighting, so if a bullet accidentally hits them, they'll just start fighting against each other, which is easy, you know, it, it helps when you're uh, playing against insurmountable odds. Well, I mean, demons, but... <laughs> I'm pretty sure with this one, there's some buttons. Ah, oh, fuck. There's some buttons up there you have to press. And it, like, unlocks something. So I have to wait for this to go back down again. This little button thing. Come on. Yeah, there it is. I think one of these has a thing up there. Yeah, there's the buttons. So don't really want to, um... I think you can also shoot the buttons. Yeah, that's it. Maybe it's this one I'm thinking of. Yeah, one of them is like a secret button and it opens something up. Is it this one? Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, there was armor over there, but I've already got armor on at the moment. It's not really armor, but... Alrighty, I think I'm lost. <laughs> Again, I haven't played this for a few years now. This is more or less just me wanting to explore, you know, something I... Because I, I didn't work on this personally, but I worked in the game design course on this game. Because it's really easy to mod. You can just redraw your own shit and then put it in. Like, um, there's some crazy mods out there. Some I can't show on here, obviously. But, um, yeah, there's one called Brutal Doom, which I actually really like. It's just a bit of fun. It makes everything, like, ten times more blower-uppable, blower I guess you could say. But uh, everything just explodes more. There's more guts, there's more grenades. There's, like, grenades and shit. There's fucking rocket launchers, more rocket launchers and stuff. It's like grenade launches. It's awesome. But uh, it's more or less what the new Doom was. Which, and the new Doom is pretty good. Um, it's not, like, the, it's just the soundtrack I don't like. 
Like, yeah, a lot of people put time and effort into it, but I prefer this sort of soundtrack. While the uh, the soundtrack in the new one was more like a in, like a German industrial sort of band. I'm not really a fan of that sort of shit. Uh, but again, you might be, and you might absolutely love their soundtrack in that game. But it's just not my sort of thing. I prefer like um, Alice in Chains and uh, Nirvana sort of songs like that. I'm not like a metalhead, but I do appreciate the the soundtrack from this game because of it. Uh, I need to also save. Oh, there's the exit. Pfft, never mind then. I think we'll uh, finish up here, guys, because we're up to the 15 minute mark. Thanks so much for watching. I uh, will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.